I think after, you know, taking in the whole recruiting, you know, experience for me and then after taking an official to, you know, Florida State and being able to, you know, meet the coaching staff and just, you know, see it, I think, you know, I just ultimately, you know, came to the decision, got that, you know, feeling in my stomach and, you know, thought it was right fit for me. Is it one of those things that you really can't describe? It's just once you hit campus and met with the coaches and players, you said, this is for me? Yeah, I think, you know, going throughout my visits, you know, I was just looking for that place that, you know, felt right for me, you know, family environment that, you know, it's a place that, you know, I fit in offense and thought I could, you know, succeed in in the future when I go there and, you know, I just felt that you know Florida State was a place for me. And just talk about what they expect from you. Uh, you're going to be playing tight end, split end. I mean, you can do both. Yeah, you know they're you know how they're making the you know offense right now with the tight ends. What Coach Brewster's been telling me, the tight end coach there, you know, he's kind of been saying you know more of a you know offense like here, you know, where the tight end gets moved around, you know, maybe a wide receiver, you know, throw a jump ball up on the goal line, but you know also be able to put my you know hand in the dirt and you know be able to block a defensive end. But you know just about everywhere and you know wherever I can succeed. And uh, just talk about the other schools involved. I know Wisconsin was right there at the end, and Rutgers really pushed hard. Uh, just your thoughts, what made Florida State over those two schools? Uh, yeah, I think ultimately, you know, it was the tight end coach. You know, Coach Brewster, I think, you know, ultimately I just, you know, felt more comfortable with him, you know, with his experience in the NFL, you know, coaching Antonio Gates. And, you know, just, you know, ultimately I got that, you know, feeling in my stomach and just, you know, felt it was right for me. And you speak about Antonio Gates. He's a guy that played basketball and then became a football player. You've done both and excelled at both. Uh, what made you lean more towards football? Uh, you know, it's not that I lean towards, you know, either or. You know, I worked hard at, you know, both sports. I think it was, you know, ultimately when I first got, you know, my first offer for Virginia Tech. You know, I had football. I think that's, you know, when I saw that football, you know, what's the sport I was going to play in college. Now, when you were a youngster uh, playing youth ball, you were a quarterback most of your career, and then that changed at Pope John. Talk about that tra tra transition and that, you know, how you did it so well. You know, I think, you know, the coaches here, you know, really made it easy for me. You know, coming in, you know, I thought I was going to be a quarterback, but, you know, ultimately, you know, they saw the size, athleticism I had, and, you know, said that you know, I should try to be a tight end. And, you know, ultimately, you know, them just coaching me up, you know, they made it really easy for me. It's great for uh, him and his family, obviously, and uh, for the school and the program. So we're excited about it. What makes him uh, the Division One athlete that he's become? Uh, one, his work ethic is phenomenal. Uh, two, I mean, his athleticism is great, and he's six six, so uh, you know he has the whole package, and uh, you know he's going to have a good career there. He was saying uh, before when I talked to him that playing in the offense that you brought here a few years ago really helped with exposure because a lot of colleges run that. Just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we try to emulate a lot what's going on in college. Even the one-way kids, you know, they get better every day, every year. Uh, they understand the system real well. Uh, you know, we like to spread the ball around. So obviously, you know, if you watch TV, a lot of guys are running that. And uh, it definitely helps when they come look at our guys.